My language is Ethiopian Amharic language. We use the chant Aya Ho Ho Zare No Dele, which is the victory is coming. So our goal is what? Every day to knock how many doors? 80 doors. And try to make sure that person who's struggling to go out and vote and facilitate his vote. Unite here has gonna knock one million doors here in Georgia for the Senate runoff. Here in Clarkston, we have 25 to 30 African immigrants from all over the United here chapters and here from the community. The city of Clarkston is one of the most diverse cities. It's actually the most diverse square mile in America. When I heard Unite Here is coming here, I said I need to join them. I need to do my part and make sure that our interests are heard. We are partnering with Unite Here to get people in our communities in a position that can shift power. The African canvas in Clarkston is a critical component of the campaign to win here in Georgia. There are over 100,000 African immigrants in Georgia and 40,000 are naturalized and ready to vote. That is definitely something that contributed to the presidential election in Georgia. The decision came down to about 12,000 votes. half to our goal, right? So we just keep doing it and we had bad weather. If the weather keeps staying like this, we're gonna get so many votes out and we know- For me, I think it's super important because the immigrants are the forgotten people, you know, because they're, they're when they come here, you know, they're looking for a better life and they're just trying to get that. And that's something I've seen with my parents and I know that other immigrants feel that way. And so we're here making sure that that's not how they feel and making, like telling them that like your vote is as important as everybody else's and that's why you deserve to be here. And that's why we're doing what we're doing here. Earlier in our union's history, immigrants from Mexico, from Central America, from South America, at a time when no one in the U.S. thought that those workers and people were a political power, banded together both through the union and in politics to change the outcome of, of states like California and Nevada and Arizona and build a, a working class and immigrant power um, that stood up for rights on the job, but then also went on to help lead the immigration reform movements in the United States and led things like the Immigrant Worker Freedom Ride. This is a, like the next step. I'm fighting for uh, equal opportunity and equal rights and uh, about concern for the immigration also. I've been many years in this country, almost like 20. Before, at least I work, my work permit every year, I renew and uh, not scared. But on his administration, the last four years, I was so scared, it's like a nightmare. I cannot vote, but I give my voice and I explained, you have a right to vote. And I just try to share my history. We knock on doors and then telling them how this election is important for our life, for our community, for me. It's just a lot. This election is a lot for us as an immigrant. I lost my job, I will follow. This fight is kind of important, it's kind of a personal to me. I work with United Airlines and I know that people who I work with, people who I interact with, seven of my co-workers lost their life due to you know the pandemic due to the COVID. I was you know also infected but I was able to you know to recover. If we can get the two you know seat blue we can be able to provide the kind of a relief for working family like myself because I will follow and I'm not working. I lost my health insurance. We can be able to you know to do a lot of things help Kamala Harris and Joe Biden you know achieve that policy.